Let me now guide you step by step the process of selling your HDB. First, you need to know how much cash proceeds and CPF you will get from the sale of your property. So assuming you sell your flat for 500000 the first step you need to do is to deduct any outstanding loan, be it from HDB or from the banks. Okay, step number two is to go to CPF website and find out what is your CPF refund. Okay, so for all the owners, you need to refund CPF plus interest into your account after the sale of your flat. So whatever left will be the cash proceeds. There are five important ways to sell your flat at the highest possible price. Let me share with you the details right away. Number one, do not underestimate the power of first impressions. From the moment they step into your house, your buyer has approximately seven seconds to decide whether they like your house or not. So do your very best to pack the house. If you have small kids at home, do not leave their toys lying around the floor. If the buyer has to constantly avoid stepping on your child's toys, they will miss out on the important details like your $3,000 featured wall and the branded Fisher & Packer stove that you are including in the sale. Number two, turn on the air cons whenever you have viewings. Let's face it, Singapore is constantly warm and humid. From the moment the buyer alight from the car, they have to walk all the way to the lift lobby, they have to wait for their agent, the agent has to bring them up and walk to your house. By the time they go into your house, they will be sweaty already. So if they enter your house and you turn on the air cons, they will feel cool and it will be more pleasing for them. So they can concentrate on the plus points of your house. Number three, touch up the minor defects in your house. For example, there might be puke ceilings due to condensation. Okay, but for buyers, when they walk in, they see a puke ceiling, they will find that the house has a water leakage problem and they're most probably not going to buy your house. So if you want to sell your house at a top price, okay, please rectify the problem. Number four, do not overprice your house. If your house has only simple renovations, do not expect to sell it at a record price. You can ask for a higher price if the area that you're staying okay, is a very very good area, very prime area and there are rarely houses for sale. Okay, for example, there are some blocks along Clarence Lane, along Alexandra Road. There's also uh, in Bishan, Bishan Street 22, where some of the blocks are facing the park. So for this instance, right, you can actually command a higher price than others. If you spend a lot of money on your renovations and your house looks like a show flat, you might be able to ask for a higher price. This is because buyers that come into your house, they might like your ID, they might like your team. Okay, so to them, they do not have to fork out time and money to do renovations again. Lastly, if you live on a super high floor and your house has a panoramic view of MBS, the sea, or the river, or a park, okay, congratulations, you might be able to sell your house at a record price. Number five, get a good agent to help you with the sale of your house. He or she should have good showmanship and point out the selling points of your house to the potential buyers. Your agent should advise you in details how much CPF and cash you will get from the sale of your house and also how much you can utilize for the purchase of the next house. If your agent is well versed in videography and photography and can produce your home video in less than 3 hours, it will be the best because a lot of other agents are outsourcing to vendors and the turnaround time can take about one to two weeks. So you might miss out on potential buyers.